Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you're well. <laughs> I hope you're well. Today we're looking at uh, a bit of a rumor, I think, going around uh, in some parts of uh, YouTube. Let's say one part of YouTube in particular. <laughs> that uh, Meghan Markle is going to, how we say, uh, match uh, Harry's memoir. She's she the, the word on the street is she may cook up her own memoir. And I'm sure it's going to be, you know, salacious. I'm sure there's going to be some juicy goss here and there throughout the memoir. So today on Famous Fortunes, we're going to look at, is this possible? Is this in the works? At what stage of development could it be at? What could be revealed? What could be revealed? That's actually, that's an interesting question in and of itself. We're going to look at that. And what effect would it have on her reputation? That's an important question. We're going to ask that. Maybe, does it even matter what effect it will have? I mean, does it matter at this point? Does it matter? So, let that all be known. Welcome to the show. Welcome back. We're going to have a good time today, as we as we do on Famous Fortunes. That's what we're known for, having a good time. So, let that be known. Cheers to you. Let's get into it. Before I start to get into some cards, let it be known that a subscription to Famous Fortunes brings a lifetime of good luck and good fortune. And for those that are new to the channel, let it be known that when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to tell my craziest tarot story of all time. Uh, and I haven't given any hints, I haven't given any hints, but I will tell you it is the most amazing reading I ever did. And... You know, using the tarot, and I'm going to tell the complete story on, you know, as to what happened, and where it happened, how it happened, all the rest of it. I'll give you all the juicy details. So, let that be known. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And check in. Check in when we hit 10,000. We may do a celebratory tea and tarot session where I can tell the whole story in its, in, you know, in its glory, if you like, <laughs> it's, you know, we need to give it the time it needs. So question numero uno, numero uno, is it possible? Is Meghan Markle considering penning a memoir? Harry's done it, you know, or will do it, something along those lines, you know, but Meghan Markle, could she do it? Will she do it? Is, is, is it on the cards for her? Let's ask that question. Is it on the cards? Is it on the cards? How are you feeling today? Just let it let it be known how you're feeling. How are you going today? How are you? How are you? Let it be known in the comments. Cards are hot. I've just had a jug of tea and let me tell you, I'm feeling very good. <laughs> so let's have a look. Knight of Swords, Prince of Swords, Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups. This is a card that, you know, Team Famous Fortunes, if you watch regularly, Nine of Cups, we discussed this yesterday. Wasn't it we, just yesterday we were talking about this? The Tower, ooh, underlying energy here, the Prince of Wands. The Tower, now that's an interesting little card right there. That's a zinger of a card, I have to tell you. So in any event, let's have a look. Now, Tower withstanding, I just, let's just take the tower out for a minute here, because the tower, it's going to draw a lot of focus to the tower card, we're going to have to discuss that, but let's look at these cards first, now, I think that there's, okay, in terms of where Megan's at with the memoir, yes, I think she would love to write one, let's say that, okay, she would love to write one, this is very much a, a yes, I think she would love to get into it. She'd love to write a memoir. She would love it. It would be something that, you know, I did hear once. I hear, I hear, I, I did hear someone say to me once, you've got to be a little bit suspicious. And, and this isn't anything to do with the topic at hand, but this is to do with memoirs or autobiographies and that sort of thing. You've got to be a little bit sort of critical, perhaps, or a little look twice at the people that write autobiographies. Usually they're just full of themselves. That's that's what that's what I was you know. Someone made a point. A friend made a point to me a long time ago, and it stuck with me. I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, so you know, no offense to anyone who's written an autobiography. I don't mean it personally. I'm just saying it's a it's an interesting point. Now I'm not sure everyone you know everyone that does it isn't necessarily just full of themselves. But you know, 
I think in this case, I'll let you be the judge. But in any event, she seems to be, you know, liking the idea quite a lot. I know I've just probably offended part of the audience, and I don't mean to do that, but, you know, at some point, <laughs> you have to say things that are going to upset people. So in any event, Nine of Cups, and I don't want to be offensive, but Nine of Cups, she, she, she loves it. Let's be completely honest. She completely loves it, loves the idea. It's just this sort of very much a... You know, she's thinking about it. She's conceptualizing it in her mind and what she could say. Even, dare I say, coming up with things that she'll say, making things up that she will say. <laughs> you could go that level. I mean, I have discussed the meanings of the Eight of Cups profusely uh, throughout the episodes on Famous Fortunes. And I know that there are comments that I get periodically that uh, reference the Seven of Cups as a type of gaslighting card. I'm not going to dismiss that. It's not necessarily an interpretation that I sort of go to. It's not my first base, so to speak. But I'm not going to disagree with that. If you are thinking that, then go right ahead. But I think making stuff up certainly a potential thing here. But certainly, you know, thinking long and hard about what's going to be in it. What, what's the, you know, the perception of the subject matter that's going to be conveyed through the uh, through the work. So yes, gaslighting another name, I suppose. Uh, being trying to be diplomatic here, but you know it, it, there is a point. There is a point where diplomacy uh, verges on insanity. So let that be known. The Ace of Cups to me, I think that either she's looking for offers or has received an offer. That's where I, that's what I think. She's searching for offers or has received one. Uh, it, it, there is very much an an energy here of that level of development or that level of stage of the project. Now, the Knight of Swords could even mean that there has been some attention or even some work done on the manuscript, let's say, on the particular work. Uh, there may have been some writing done or that type of thing. You know, write a few notes. It does, it's not terribly difficult to do. Open a laptop, open your favorite word processor, and you just start, you know, hitting out just, you know, whatever you feel, really. Whatever comes to mind or your imagination in this case, perhaps. Uh, let that be known. So that's what I see on the cards. I think you know, the Prince, the Knight of Wands is a uh, very, usually on Famous Fortunes, it's a card representing Prince Harry himself. So... Being that as the underlying energy, I think maybe maybe there's a view here to sort of compete with Harry's uh, memoir. Maybe there's going to be a complementary memoir in the works. I did recall. I do recall, in fact, that didn't Harry sign for a number of books. One of them was a memoir, and then Meghan signed for something herself. Do you recall that? Because I recall that. Maybe it's a sort of a a lumped in deal. Uh, the tower here, let's talk about the tower. I think that what is being inferred here by these cards, these set of cards, is that Megan's going to be very happy with what is said in the memoir, even though, you know, we could debate, and I'm sure that it will be debated if the memoir comes to light, is released. We're going to debate the, you know, the truthfulness, let's say, the accuracy of some of the, you know, let's just say recollections may vary, but the recollections that Megan's going to put forth are going to be quite explosive. I think that, the, 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 or, or at least intended to be so. Okay, intended to be, they're, they're intended to be very, very explosive memories, let's say, or uh, imaginings. I'm not sure which one it is. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely one of the two. I'll leave that to you, to, uh, to, you know, to, to judge on which one, Will it be? Which one will it be? I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge. Just going to read the energies on this particular one. So, what... In, in lieu... In light, rather. Not in lieu. In light of the potential, you know, bombshells, what sort of content will we see? Let's find out. What sort of content could we expect? What sort of topics could we expect? I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to throw three cards here per topic and just see how many topics we get on the cards as just a bit of a just a bit of a fun thing just for a change you know we'll do it until the topics look like they're drying up a little bit but let's see what sort of major themes would come through in the memoir what what is being considered what is or has been or will be considered as 
bombshell topics, you know, bombshell, bombshell, the palace stuff, fried my eggs instead of scrambling them, I don't know, who knows what it could be, who knows, I'm sure there'd be some major things, Frogmore Cottage was old and outdated, I have no idea, what could you say, what could you say, I mean, they've already done the Oprah job, so, I mean, I'm not going to go there and rehash, I don't even want to say the words, I don't want to say the words, I won't do it today, I won't do it, I can't do it, I won't do it, but we know, we know what was said, we know the words, let's have a look, topics, three cards, let's go, first card, again, the seven of cups, <laughs> no, no doubt, page of swords, king of pentacles, underlying energy, nine of cups, you can see a bit of an energetic pattern here, you can see an energetic pattern, so again, there's an idea here of writing down ideas that are questionable in its, uh, you know, truthfulness and authenticity. It's going to be writing about, uh, there's going to be a man here that was wealthy, that, uh, that that's going to be written about. Things to do with that, a wealthy man, let's say. I wonder what that could be. Things that are going to be very uh, satisfying for Megan to write. So there's one thing. Let's have a look. What's next on the bombshell agenda? Who knows? Maybe she'll disclose the name of a a, a rich man she was with. Uh, yeah, let that be known. Who knows? Who knows? Let's find out. Next topic. Saw the devil floating around in there. Cards are hot. The star. Nine of wands. Uh, page of pentacles. Underlying energy. The six of cups. So here I see the... The, the hardship, I see hardship here, uh, a story of, of hardship, of her, you know, this could be her rise to fame, this could be a story of the difficulties in her, you know, and the, the horrible things that she had to go through in her rise to fame and, you know, fortune, and, you know, maybe even there's a degree of I want to say, looking at these cards, I just get a feeling of maybe underpayment. You know, she wasn't paid enough or something. Or so there's something with the, the money wasn't enough for something along those lines. I really get that feeling. The money wasn't enough. It was hardship. It was difficult. It was, it was you know, all that type of thing. A bit of a sort of, a bit of Crimea River here. Really, that's kind of what I see. You know, everyone's experience is different. So, but that's kind of what I'm feeling energetically. Next, next topic, next topic, what other topics will be discussed in the memoir? Cards are hot. Queen of Swords, oh, of course, Ace of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles, Death, Ace of Pentacles, underlying energy here, the seven, again, here's another seven of cups job. And we'll throw in the king of pentacles as another underlying energy, that's interesting. So here we go, another seven of cups job, there's another sort of... You know, there's another kind of imagining, let's say. Now, this time it's going to be a very cutting, there's a very cutting topic coming, it's going to be... This is going to be really having a go at someone... Uh, go, having a go at someone regarding, again, I see money on the cards as someone that sort of, maybe, maybe someone that took away opportunities from her is going to be having a go at someone who denied opportunities for her. And I can already imagine what I'm going to hear in the comments about this. Let it be known. Let it be known. A rich man, a rich man, King of Pentacles. So there's that there's that topic again. Maybe a lot of the book's going to be dedicated to this people that have you know done it wrong. Rich man, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? There's a joke in there somewhere, I'm sure. Let's uh, let's move on. One more topic. Let's see what we get. One more topic.
cards are hot. Page of Pentacles again. Two of Wands, the Sun, underlying energy, the Prince of Cups. Okay, so what do I see here? Again, it's to do with, I see a lot of these things to do with money, opportunity, uh, maybe even here, Prince of Cups. There's a sort of, there is literally a knight in shining armor here is the underlying energy. So on her, this is a quest here. This is a quest for, she's looking for maybe the, she's looking for, what is she looking for? She's looking for, this one's a little bit tougher. There's, this one, this one is tougher to, to interpret. I have to tell you, it is, it, it is tougher. Now, if we go with the similar, the theme that we've seen of opportunity and advancement, that type of thing, looking for those opportunities, this is describing really her, I, I find her looking for opportunities and, you know, someone's, you know, someone gave her an opportunity that she needed or something along those lines. Maybe, who knows? It could have been Harry. It could have been someone else. Uh, uh, tough one. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. Again, it's probably related to money or opportunity, that something like that. And how, you know... It's a tough one. I, I'll leave it at that. It's, it's hard to say. That one's a little bit more... Uh, let's do one more, just to, just to see, just to just to see what comes out. Let's do one more. I don't want to sort of ascribe meanings where I don't necessarily see them. I'm kind of seeing the si sort of similar themes now throughout this. The same cards are coming up, so maybe this is going to be just really a couple of different topics or themes to the to the to the work. Let's say I don't know how they're going to be covering major sort of. Many different topics or that type of thing in the book. I think it's just going to be focused on a couple of things, just from what I'm seeing at the moment. Opportunities and money seems to be a heavy focus, and you know, and, and rich man as well. Let it be known. The Tower, Page of Swords, the Fool, underlying energy, the King of Cups could be writing about things that have not gone well, who knows, maybe it's with this individual here, maybe it's with the, uh, maybe it's with a certain person with, you know, inexperience of their life, maybe it'll, maybe this will be, uh, you know, who knows, could be a divorce, could be, could be a divorce, hard to say, hard to say, a towel moment, world came crashing down, all that sort of, you know, thing, maybe it could be, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I think we're getting a little bit too speculative now, uh, let's look now, what effect will this have on her reputation? Where will the, her reputation be if a memoir was to hit the, you know, to be published? Hit the shelves or hit the uh, e-books or whatever it is these days. Let's have a look. I was actually at a bookstore today, let that be known. I was actually at a bookstore today. This very day... I uh, bought some tarot decks, so <laughs> that's, <laughs> there you go, let that be known. So, uh, let's, um, have a look now. What effect on the reputation will this have? Cards are hot. Four of Cups is the first card. Page of Wands. Nine, there it is, the Nine of Cups. I tell you, we've really dialed in. Queen of Wands. Okay, so it, long and short of it, it's going to be very empowering to... Um, it's going to be very empowering to Megan. In her mind, perhaps. Uh, I don't know if it really will be empowering, but that's kind of what I see. There's going to be a lot of criticism of the of the of what's said in the book of Megan, perhaps. I'm not sure if that surprises anyone. Megan's going to be over the moon. She'll love it. She's going to love what she sees uh, in the book and all the rest of it. Uh, there is going to be some disappointment here. Again, we're actually asking what's going to be the effect on the reputation. She's going to be attacked. You know, there's going to be criticism. Um, there's going to be... 
I think a lot of people are going to be very disappointed about what she writes. But I think Megan's going to love it. Now, that's a bit of a theme. I've seen this at least five times, maybe more, in recent history on Famous Fortunes. This Nine of Cups is very, very much where Megan's at at the moment. Nine of Cups seems to be the uh, the archetype royale uh, that we see at the moment here on the cards for Megan. So what else can I say? She seems... Everything she does in her mind is, is awesome. Everything is awesome. Uh, and that's that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. What do you think? Do you think we'll see a memoir? Let it be known in the comments. What do you think of the memoir in advance? Let's say, what do you think will be said in the memoir? That's going to be interesting reading the comments. Let us know what you think.